Hey, this is Superfin Guys Assistant, Robbie. This is going to be a quick response to a video called A Universe from Nothing Explained, claiming that you can get something out of nothing. Link in the description. Obviously this claim violates Newton's laws of thermodynamics and the principles of physics. You know that something cannot come out of nothing, energy cannot be created or destroyed, or that an effect always has a cause. You'd think that such an outlandish claim, that something can indeed come out of nothing, would have extraordinary scientific evidence to back it up, but as we shall see, it has none, and the conclusions are contrived from out-of-context instances in quantum mechanics. First let's start, where the video starts, with the uncertainty principle. One thing that we need to remember here is that the mathematics of quantum mechanics is probabilistic, so it is by definition uncertain, since it represents statistics of a system, not the actual interactions within that system. The disregard and amnesia of this fact leads us to the widespread notion that we can determine the details. It is just that because of the somehow probabilistic nature of atomic reality, we can't know the exact whereabouts of an electron. As we are going to see this is false. We don't measure the position and the momentum of an electron simultaneously, not because of this oh-so-mysterious probabilistic nature, but because of our limited measuring methods. By using light, photons, to determine the position of an electron we disturb its momentum with the beam of photons, and the more precise we determine the position of the electron, a shorter wavelength of light must be used, and as a consequence more photons hit the electron, disturbing its momentum further. As we can see, we can't detect the position and the momentum simultaneously because of a very cause and effect reason, and of our detection inabilities. And most importantly, is that this current inability can be worked around, by calculating the initial momentum value to the momentum, after the position is taken. With the mean value, the momentum is precisely determined along the path, and the uncertainty principle falls apart. It is a huge leap of logic to say, that, when we can't determine the position of the particle exactly, this means, that the particle can be in multiple places at once in reality. The statistics at hand are not reality, they are by definition a generalization of a mechanism that is taking place. It is unbelievable that people are confusing the probability math with reality itself. Quantum mechanics is just statistics, and no particle has ever been detected at two or more places at once in reality. Just at one place at a time, obviously. Now continuing with the video, so this blind preconception contrived from a limited detection method is applied to other quantities that are said to be impossible to be detected simultaneously, such as the energy of something at a particular space-time. Ignoring the fact that you can detect the energy level of something, like an electron at a given space-time. This preconception is used to study quantum fluctuations only probabilistically, and because the mechanism within is not accounted, it is therefore claimed there is no mechanism or cause, and that the fluctuations spontaneously arise from nothing. Obviously this is an ignorant illogical conclusion that hinders further understanding of the fluctuations. Now to the claim that the Big Bang arose from nothing, just like quantum fluctuations. First vacuum fluctuations are proportional to the gravitational potential energy, gravity, of a region in space-time. And guess what, gravitational potential energy is caused by mass, no mass no gravitational potential energy, no gravitational potential energy no vacuum fluctuations or disturbance. Gravitational potential energy and vacuum fluctuations get denser with the presence of mass, such as observed and demonstrated by the Casimir effect. So there couldn't exist a gravitational potential energy without mass in the first place, to produce vacuum fluctuations and with the energy density, in the order to originate the Big Bang's infinite point mass, or singularity. Second, the Big Bang contradicts itself. To have vacuum fluctuations that would form the singularity, you'd need a space-time vacuum in the first place. Clearly such singularity is purely imaginary, 